here we have the hydraulic reservoir and at the bottom of this in this intake tube is a filter which we're going to clean so in order to remove it the first thing to do is unclip it from the with that little clip and a trick to taking the pipe off the battery frame here is to bend the tang one tank away from the other and then take the pipe out at an angle makes it easy to remove the pipe then we lift pull the whole thing out now it's got an o-ring at the top which seals it and we then drain the hydraulic fluid as we're lifting out and it will probably catch at the bottom which this one is so it doesn't want to come out Being LHS, you want to be very careful with this because LHS is corrosive. So what we'll do is we'll wipe down the filter housing. A bit of cloth is always useful and a bit of a twist and the filter will come out. I'll put the filter tube back in the tank and we now have the filter. This one is particularly dirty and is desperate for a clean. Okay, so here we have the dirty hydraulic filter. In this case, it's uh, LHS, so we're going to be cleaning it with alcohol. I have some in this spray can here. So the trick would be just to sp spray it from the outside in, all the way down, top to bottom. And as I said, this filter itself is particularly dirty. And I do have a, an airline here which makes life easier but we will, it will probably make a mess. As you can see it's already revealing the clear parts of the filter and blowing all the crud into the tank at the bottom. All these deposits are generally just bits of steel from the hole of the circuit that collects in the filter. It's a very fine mesh, so you need to be relatively careful with it. You could, of course, use a toothbrush to uh, clean it on the inside, but it's best just to use plenty of uh, plenty of degreaser. And you can see in the bottom of the tank here how much stuff there is. At the end of the day, you should be able to see through it. This is nearly, nearly completely clean. But again, just take your time. So here we have a clean hydraulic filter. And this one is for the LHS. As you can see, it's cream. And the O-ring at the bottom is got a red stripe on it, which denotes it as being particular to the LHS. Most of the later cars, or all the later cars since 67, have um, LHM and the filter and its housing is green plastic, as you can see. Same basic design, but obviously green and with a black ring at the bottom. And also you'll note it's got a little togs at the bottom to keep it off the bottom of the, uh, off the tank. So those are the differences. And now we put the filter back in the housing and put it back in the car. So we take the, again, carefully take the tube out because it's still got LHS in the tank and invert it and simply push the filter back in and push it right home. And then we carefully insert it back into the tank and it has to go in square with the O-ring at the bottom, the O-ring, and it should with a bit of effort, seal down nice and snugly. Whereupon you can then clip it up with a wire clip. Also then attach the rubber into the battery clamp at the top and bend it back into line. And that's everything back in place. Now all you need to do is, having slackened off the uh, relief valve on the regulator, which is down at the bottom. 
You then will start the car and allow the pump to suck fluid through the tank and circulate it back to the tank and you will therefore get the air that's currently in that pipe because you've drained the filter out of the system before you turn anything else on. Now with the engine running, if you take the top of the reservoir off, you'll be able to look in there and you'll be able to see fluid being pumped through with air in it. <laughs> 